There is a growing awareness on the part of healthcare professionals and general lay population that uh, there is more and more diagnostic procedures involving exposure to radiation. The more radiation the patient is exposed to, there is a small incremental increase in their lifetime risk of developing cancer. We now uh, can position the catheters during the ablation procedures without depending on uh, x-ray. Thus, we can minimize the exposure to radiation during the EP procedure and catheter ablation virtually to zero. I chose to get the procedure that I had done because I was having a very difficult pregnancy and throughout my pregnancy the heart medication wasn't working for me anymore so he told me about this new thing that he was doing with little to no radiation so I decided to go ahead and do it because I thought it would benefit other pregnant women. With me being so young I've already been exposed to various x-ray procedures and I just thought that this would benefit my health in the long run because there is supposedly this lifetime dosage and once you surpass this certain amount there is risks of cancer and other things that might affect me in the future. Uh, this is a kind of imaging that uh, we can create uh, during our uh, EP procedure. These are the 3D maps that we can see our catheters uh, inside the heart that we, we have created. Uh, and then we can also locate our uh, ablation lesions uh, with the same system. So by this means, uh, we would avoid uh, using uh, any fluoroscopy during our procedure. I feel great now. I don't have any anxiety attacks anymore, so I'm guessing that was part of my condition. And I've just been doing everything regularly. A couple weeks after the procedure, I healed up nicely. and. I was a little short of breath at first, but now I feel great. I can do everything normally. I can actually do things a lot better now without getting short of breath.